Hello, uh, Ness Tilson here again. Um, in this video I'd like to show how to build a staircase very quickly in Stair Designer, insert a landing and then put that stair into ProjiCAD so that we can add decorative elements like turned newel posts, handrails, etc. to give a more realistic view of the stair project. So let's get going. Okay, so we have a quick stair made with um, stair designer. Let's put in a landing step here. Landing step. Let's say this landing step is a horizontal step. It's fine. This step here. Let's move the landing, the nosing, a bit closer, and then we take, make this landing step up. 90 degrees and let's have a look at the aspect of the stair. If we give us the parameters we can see the parameters of each flight that means we can see if each flight is corresponds to the stair all. We have, uh, it's not bad here, it's 62 the stair all uh, should be between 60 and 64 and here it's 64 so that's okay now let's uh, go back to 2d and let's um, add some posts and let's put this post on the ground let's add some more posts here 9 Nine. Let's add a post here. Let's make this flight uh, straight strings and straight handrails on the right. Same with this one now. Straight string, straight handrail on the right. And here we have the stair. Let's put this stair now, take the file, and we'll save it, uh, we'll export it in 3D. And then let's open the file in ProjectCAD. Now here we have the Stair Designer 3D DXF drawing loaded into ProjectCAD. I'm going to use ProjectCAD to add some elements onto the stair that we can't draw directly in Stair Designer. So um, let's take a plan view of the stair and we have a look at another drawing I've made. This is a drawing of different stair parts which I've made in ProjectCAD in 3D. And these stair parts I'm going to add to the 3D stair. So let's just copy a couple of the parts that we need to um, you know, enhance our stair design. We'll take a, a, a copy command from the and I'm going to take these two turned post elements and I'm going to put them into the stair designer drawing let's just put the paste command and let's add the posts here we have now the stair designer drawing and some elements which have been used by um, which I've drawn using ProjectCAD we can, we can already give a render to the drawing as I've applied some materials and we see the elements in place here. Now let's just add the, we're going to put these post, the turn posts onto the stair designer drawing. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add the squared sections to the stair designer drawing. Um, we're going to use a stair designer drawing which is not made of solids which we can easily work with but made of 3D faces. What we're going to use this, we're going to just draw a little rectangle here which represents the base of our plate of our post using a stair designer solid and we're going to take that rectangle and extrude it so that we give a now a solid post. This solid post, we can look at it rendered, here we have the solid post we're going to add the turn parts to the solid post now. So, 
let's um, say that the solid post we're going to cut the base so we're going to leave a um, squared base for the assemble of the string and we're going to cut it at two centimeters above the intersection with the string uh, to work with solids in ProduCAD I use the UCS system which is this little symbol here as um, a sort of a knife and I cut into the solids using a cut command let's put the knife at the right place so we say the knife is going to be just at the assembly of the string here but I want it a little bit higher so I'm going to say I want it two centimeters higher I put the knife two centimeters higher than the intersection with the string and I use this cut command and I cut the solid on the XY plane of my knife and now I have two solids I have this top part and this bottom part of the solid I'm now going to add the turned section of the post let's take the turn section of the post here and I take the middle and I'm going to tell ProjectCAD to put it between the middle of the, of the post I've just put it on the middle of the post here we're now going to cut this topped section squared section of the post and we're going to cut away so that it's now um, it leaves uh, free the turn section of the post we're going to do the same thing, we're going to put our knife section here, my, uh, my UCS symbol. We're going to put it on top of the turn section of the post and use the same knife cutting command to cut this bit of post on the UCS and this time get rid of the middle section and we have a turned post here, we can have a look at it rendered. Sorry this uh, the rendering has given me a floor on the uh, on the UCS position put the floor back on the on the ground where it was at the beginning and we can see this is the post in the squared section if I take away the squared section now we can see the post with the turn section now let's add now the the ball to the top of the post. We just take the ball, let's take it by its middle point, and we'll put this middle point on the middle of the top of the post. And here we have now the turn post, the turn newel post. Right, I can keep doing this for the other posts. Of course, the look at on the other side and let's give it a, a more sort of a, a full render with some shadowing and this will give us a bit more realistic a realistic effect right that's the full post and you can see that the the actual images that it gives is is pretty pretty high quality right once we've added the we can go on adding different the, the same way we add the posts to the other parts of the drawing and we can add the curved rails rails can be curved and this is sort of the thing that you might get pretty quickly using the stair, the ProjectCAD drawing if we render this drawing here we've added the posts, the new posts that are turned and we've added a gooseneck cap here which we can zoom into a bit and get a render, quick render onto this to give you an, I an idea of what ProjectCAD can do. Let's give a quick perspective view to it. And let's zoom out. And let's move the around. and let's give a full render to this drawing and there we have it this is a, a fully rendered stair with just quickly adding a few 
design elements to the original stair designer. So, hope that's been interesting for you, and see you in the next video. Good.